Okay guys, welcome back to another full day of eating. So this morning, you saw a little bit of my morning routine that I usually do. So I have coffee and then I meditate and then I journal. That's pretty much the extent of my morning routine. I'm doing that for, I don't know, a few months now. Love it, really starts my day off strong. So that is what I had going on this morning. And today's gonna be a little wonky. I was gonna go to the gym this morning. And then when I woke up, I was like, I really need sleep. So I slept in. And then later this morning, actually like, I gotta get on the ball here because I need to go pick out a countertop. This is something that like just got scheduled yesterday. So it kind of threw my day off a little bit, but I have to go pick out a countertop. I'll show you. We're redoing our basement, hence the new office that you've seen in the past couple videos. So I need to pick out a countertop. I'll show you where I'm picking it out. We have a little like dry bar kind of thing and mini fridge down here. So we're gonna do a countertop over that. So I have got to get on the ball because my appointment is at nine and I still need to make breakfast and it's like eight right now. So gotta get a move on here. So I'll show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I feel like I've switched from doing smoothies to more of like warm oatmeal as the days have gotten colder. So I think that's what I'm gonna have this morning. So I will show you what I'm making. And as always guys, this video is just for entertainment purposes only. This is not by any means me telling you what to eat or how to eat, how much to eat. I mean, honestly, this isn't even how I eat every single day because every single day is literally different. I eat intuitively and that means that I listen to my body, I don't follow food rules, and I eat what I want when I want in a way that feels good. Okay guys, so let's talk about this cauliflower thing. Rice cauliflower does get a bad rep and I do think that it can be a fun way to eat a veggie, honestly. So personally, I think that the key is the why and the how behind why you're using it. So are you using it as a replacement for carbs or are you using it as a fun way to eat a veggie? Personally, I don't love a ton of fruit in my oatmeal. It's more of kind of like a fun topping for me, not anything like super substantial if I have it. I honestly kind of think it just makes it like super mushy, unless you add some apples, which I think I'm gonna do here. But veggies, I do like carrot cake oatmeal, something that has a little bit more sturdiness to it, that I like better. I just think that fruit like berries, if you add too much, it gets too mushy. I don't really notice the taste of it. And again, adding some produce in the morning does help me to feel the best in my body. And it does give it some extra nutrients in there that my body does love. So fabulous. Quick note, if you are newer to the intuitive eating process, I do recommend leaving out any of these healthier additions or swaps so that you can truly develop your own preferences and see what satisfies you the most and see what you actually enjoy. It doesn't mean that you will never eat a veggie again or that you can't add some of these things like the rice cauliflower that I'm adding. It just means that you are separating what you eat from diet culture and basing it on what you enjoy. Again, I think that in order to do that, you need to eat the real deal. And honestly, that's what I did. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. This is really when you get to the point of introducing more of that outer wisdom. It's honestly part of gentle nutrition, which comes after you break your food rules. That is very, very important. I break everything down into five stages in my Food Freedom membership, The Society. So stage number one is really ditching diet culture. Stage number two is making peace with food and breaking your food rules. Stage three is all about body acceptance. And stage four is when you get to that gentle nutrition piece like I'm exhibiting here at breakfast. And stage number five is all about setting yourself up to continue living a life of no food rules and diving deeper into overall health and wellness from that non-diet lens. If you want to learn more about the society, that's where I do all of my coaching and how to join the wait list. I'll throw that link in the description so that you can head there. But back to the cauliflower thing. I don't think that cauliflower in itself is a bad product. I think that diet culture has totally hijacked it. Cauliflower rice is not rice, guys. It is not a carb. It's a veggie and it should be treated that way. I always go back to a food preference versus a food rule. So for instance, if we didn't have any veggies on hand to put in my oatmeal, no big deal. I just have plain oatmeal. It happens. 
often actually. I just eat it without it. Now that flexibility and how I don't get stressed or anxious or anything, that exhibits a food preference. If I were to be like, oh my gosh, have a panic attack if that happens or feel like I couldn't eat the plain oatmeal, that signals a food rule. And in that case, I say, break it. Don't add it, eat the oatmeal plain. Let me know what you guys think of rice cauliflower in the comments. Now, this is my own opinion on cauliflower rice and for me, and someone else might be like, that is a triggering food for me that would trigger, you know, some disordered eating thoughts, then don't use it. Everyone is totally, totally different. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Okay guys, so this is where I'm getting a countertop for. We have a little fridge here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, I don't know, grayish, but this is the rest. So we've been working on redoing our basement and then you can see my little, my office. So this is our plan of attack for the counter. My car has ice on it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I did not eat very mindfully. I was kind of shoveling it in my mouth and whatever I do in those instances is I ask myself, just how does the food taste? I was in such a rush to get out the door and simple instant mindful eating. Okay, just how does the food taste? Instantly connects you. Come on, seatbelt. All right, I also have to pick up frosting because it's my nephew's first birthday today and I'm making him a cake this weekend. Why is this not going in? Okay, let's go pick out a countertop. I made it. I really thought that I was going to be late, but it is 8.58. I don't know if you can see that. 8.59 now. Let's do it. I think we have to point out the fact that I'm wearing a ton of animal print right now. So I'm gonna walk through what I'm gonna make down here because my husband's on a call upstairs. I know a lot of you guys can probably relate to that and sharing a workspace with other people who you live with. So what I've been doing for lunches is I've, I've never really been a huge meal prep person except for the past couple of months. So it just makes things a lot easier. I've really been alternating between having like salads and things like soups or chilies. So this week I'm having salads. So let me just run through like what I'm gonna put in it. So we have white cheddar mac and cheese, some shredded barbecue chicken. I'm gonna throw some red onion in there, tomato, apple, Apple, some nuts, and then some extra barbecue sauce. Okay guys, if you have not put mac and cheese on your salads, I am obsessed. It is so good. I love that the kind of crispness of the salad mixed with the warmth. That's something that's super satisfying to me. When you think of things and you're like crafting meals to be satisfying to you, also think about things like texture and temperature and those sorts of things. Not necessarily just like the foods that you're putting into it, but also like the elements. Like I said, I love, especially in the colder months, something warm. I still love salads or, you know, sandwiches or something like that, but I love that warm element too as it gets colder outside. So adding that in helps to keep me nice and satisfied and feel good about the meal. I mean, feel like, like I said, like I've been satisfied. So I'm gonna go through that together. The chopper bowl that I bought is a huge reason why I've been loving making salads because it is absolutely great. It crushes it up or crushes it, cuts it, whatever, up really finely, like a really good chopped salad. So I'll link to that in the description. Best $25, you guys, that I've spent. So I'm gonna go throw that together and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I need a little 
pick me up and something sweet. Okay, so my husband ordered a bunch of these online and I'm going to put some of this in it. Delicious. And then I'm testing a recipe for gingerbread cake and I'm taking the last frosted piece. Shh. So I just have one of these belt bars. I wasn't planning on, I was gonna have Greek yogurt and granola for a snack, but these came in the mail, so these are just a type of protein bar. They've almost got like a whipped nougaty kind of center-ish, like it's not like a super dense protein bar. I like them. So I grabbed one of those before we are gonna head out to take Theo for a walk. I usually try to kind of not have so much fake protein. I don't wanna say fake protein because it's not, but you know what I mean, like protein powder, protein bars, those types of things. So I was gonna have yogurt, but these came in, so I decided to have one of those. And one thing to point out, I don't love that these bars say zero guilt because literally you decide if you feel guilty. It's not like an ingredient, like zero guilt, that doesn't mean anything. But my take on things like that and like just labels in general is if something's labeled like gluten-free or paleo or whatever it might be, that doesn't impact my choice one way or another. So that means I don't eat it because it says that, but I also don't avoid it because it says that. Does that make sense? I'm pretty neutral about it and I go based off of what I want. Now, in the beginning, I did make sure to like stay away from those so I could develop my own opinions because I, <laughs> hi bud, <laughs> because I was so, impacted by what, oh, he stole the wrapper, uh, by what diet culture said, but now it's more of, I don't even pay attention to it. it. Yes, it irks me and I'm like, why does it need to be there? But it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't impact my decision necessarily. <laughs> hi, hi, honey, come here, say hi. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you, Mr. To you? But you guys do you. If you don't want to eat uh, something because it's labeled gluten-free or guilt-free, you don't have to, but I look past it. Because you should still be able to try all the foods that you want, no matter what. But, just my opinion. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Mm. Wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? <gasps> says, no, I wanna cuddle. Okay, we'll see you later. Ooh. He does this every time I cook dinner. Give me the pistachios. Theo, give mom the pistachios. Theo. You. I'm so cute. I'm so cute, I'm a puppy. This is probably not gonna be a shocker to you what I'm making for dinner. I'm making warm salad kit. So this is like turned into a recipe. I've made this a lot on my full days of eating because the way that I batch my work, yes, this is work for me, is I do it in days. So Thursdays are my YouTube days. So that's typically when I film if I do a full day of eating. So I think the next time that I do one, let me know what, what you want me to do. So usually on Thursdays, I don't work out. So we don't have that in there. Usually I have salad kits because that's like our Thursday dinner just to make meal planning super easy. So that's what we do for that. I guess a couple of things. What do you want to see? Do you want to see on different days? Wednesday, I work out and Joe cooks dinner. That could be a really fun full day of eating because I don't ask or do anything with dinner. And then kind of seeing if my appetite changes at all. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't based on if I work out. So let me know what you guys think about that. And also while we're at it, let me know if you want any things like some people have asked for like grocery finds or hauls or those sorts of things. Let me know. Let, let me know what you want. I'm here for it. Okay. I want to play around with some different types of videos and just see what's fun. Sometimes I feel like just sitting down and talking and like doing the educational ones can get a little like wah. -ah. So let me know what you want. But I'm going to put that salad kit together. Keep an eye on Theo. I need to shut that pantry door because he will literally take everything out there. And I'll see you after. Oh.
close. What a day. I've been so tired this week. I feel like it's like 8, 10 right now and I could literally go to bed. But I have my ice cream sitting out. I usually have a little sweet tooth, you guys know that. So I like to let that soften a little bit. I feel like there are two types of people in this world. People who like are like really hard ice cream and people who like it. I like it like more soupy. So I'm letting it set out a little bit. So the amount of dessert I eat, like I said, I eat dessert pretty much every single night, but the amount that I eat differs sometimes. If it's like ice cream, I'll just pull the whole family size thing out and have as much as I want. Sometimes it's a bite and sometimes it's a lot more than a bite. So we'll see, I'm really not that hungry tonight, but I still have a sweet tooth and it's okay to honor that you guys. So I'm going to be having that. All right guys, I feel like I'm just chatting on now. So I will wrap this video up. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe down there. It really does help me to make more videos. And if there's other ones that you want to see, let me know, I'm your girl. I've thought about, like I said, next time I wanna do different day for full day of eating, but like, what do you think about grocery hauls? What do you think about recipes, like meal prep, meal planning? Let me know, okay? I'm gonna go get my ice cream and I will see you later. Same time, same place next week. I switched my uploading day to Thursday. So Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time. <laughs> when it is happening. See you later.